guys, it's Shannon here. I feel like I haven't done a live demo for you guys in forever, and my nails have been begging for it. Um, I just removed uh, my nail polish and I shaped my nails. I'm trying for like, I don't know, like an almond shape, and only some of my nails are long enough. Um, so we'll see um, how it works, how it goes. Um, I have been falling back into old habits of um, picking my nail polish off, which is really bad for your nails. Um, so I'm actually excited to try um, or to show you guys uh, our new product called Repair. And this is to help prep your nails um, before your gel manicure, especially if you are having like peeling nails, um, nails that are extra prone to splitting um, or tearing, uh, this is going to put down a protective barrier, kind of like a Band-Aid um, over your nails. Um, so what I have done, um, once I finished removing my nail polish, and shaping my nails is I already did this step, um, which is the, uh, I used the green tea cuticle serum um, on my nail beds, behind my nails, um, on the skin all the way around my nails so that it is nice and hydrated and, um, you, can. <laughs> you know, ready, prepared um, for the next thing. Really, you have to go to school now, I, please. I'm, I'm very much, I'm not invited for everyone. Really, look. <laughs> I think this time you have Oh my gosh, I'm so done with distance learning. It's crazy. It's just, <sighs> some days is better than others, but Mondays are always the worst of trying to get the kids to like, okay, sit down. Sit at your computer, pay attention, don't touch the toys. Um, okay, so I did the green tea zen and I let the oil soak into my nail beds and soak into the skin. So that way I'm starting with a nice hydrated surface. Um, and now what I'm going to do since the oil is all sucked in and happy um, is I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick, just like a really light, little wash to get the excess oil off and dry them up. Morning. Hi, Jen. Um, and I'm excited. Going to do, I could not decide what color to do next. And um, I'm just going to do February color of the month so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, and I have to tell you, it is one of my first favorites. Um, it's really bright, but still um, a nice uh, tone for winter. So it's a dark, bright color, if that makes sense. Um, raspberry XOXO. Okay, so I just washed my hands, um, and now I'm going to do the repair. Um, you don't have to do it on all your nails. You could do it on just the ones that are um, needing extra TLC. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on all of them so we can get a nice... Um, idea of, of how it's going to work, a good experiment. Um, so repair is formulated with a special mix of compounds and surface coatings that will help stabilize and cushion weak or weak or lightly chipped nails. This helps the nail stay resistant to a nail split. Um, apply as needed to bare nail. Okay, so it's like a band-aid. So it's trying to compare it with Fortify. Um, Fortify is like a super vitamin that is going to help you grow um, nice, healthy, strong nails. Um, it does you know, protect your nails as well, but it's designed to be worn between your manicures, where the repair is actually designed to be worn underneath the gel to help prep your nail for what, Ridley? I have a piece of bourbon. No, you may not. Please go back to class. You can have a piece of fruit or go back to class. I just told you that I just finished a test. And you're on break? 
Okay, then you can have carrots or fruit. You cannot have more banana bread. Please close the door. Okay, so I did one thin coat and it does air dry um, really quickly. It kind of has the consistency of like, um, my first thought was, oh, this is like glue, um, which would make sense because it's supposed to be like bonding any splits in your nails. Um, but it can also be compared to like a regular clear nail polish trying to help you guys to understand the um, consistency of it. And it does remove, if you don't want to, if you're ready to remove it, um, you it removes easily with a regular nail polish remover. Okay, I'm trying to keep my coats thin. and um, capping my edges. You can't even see. Hopefully you guys are getting a good view here. I am hungry, all of a sudden hungry. Okay, it's funny because when I paint my nails with this or even with Fortify, it makes me really love the gel polish even more because, you know, with the gel, I'm used to being able to go like back and forth and um, this air dries so quickly, you can't really like keep going back over it. You just need to do it real quick, thin, quick coat, and then be done. Oh, I got a little bit on my skin and whenever possible you want to use like a tissue or a cotton ball or something other than your nails to um, clean up your edges and I am so guilty of this I'm always using my nails as tools okay so I now have a thin coat of repair on my nails and it's just like a just a thin, shiny, protectant layer. Okay, now, the only thing I was uncertain of that I didn't read in like application tips was whether to do nail cleanser after this. And I am going to go ahead and do that because my experience with Fortify is that I get a longer lasting gel when I do a light buff and then use nail cleanser over the fortify. So I'm going to do that here also um, because I don't think it's going to uh, ruin it at all. It's getting its, oops, that one wasn't dry. The other ones were. Well, I'm going to buff it, so I'll leave it alone. Okay, so this is you're just hopping on this is the um, repair product that is coming out today I believe it's gonna be 1275 like the um, fortify uh, okay so Jen says since my nails will chip under my polish when they get to a certain length the repair will help this from happening yes it's supposed to prevent your nails is supposed to bond and pre prevent your nails from um, splitting and tearing. So this is going to be like a prep work for your nails. I was also really drawn to it because they talked about um, supporting dehydrated nails and I am someone that always has really dry nails. That's why I prep all of my nails after I remove the polish with a cuticle oil. Um, because I know that my nails are extra dry and they can use all the moisture they can get. So um, I like that it also says dehydrating nails because I guess if your nails are extra dry, um, then they're more, they have a tendency to be brittle and even if they're thin, tear and stuff like that. So 
This is just going to be like a good um, band-aid for your current nail situation where Fortify is going to help you grow um, and maintain healthier nails. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step on this hand. We're just going to do the one hand right now so we can get it done a little bit quicker. Um, so everything is dry now um, and uh, I'm just going to lightly buff. So like you guys, I'm not even like breaking the surface, right? I'm just doing a light buff to remove the super shiny sheen that's on there. Um, and the idea behind this is I'm prepping the uh, nail to accept the gel. So it has, it's not sliding off a really slick surface. Um, this is what I do if I put Fortify under, so I'm just doing the same steps um, so that I can get the longest lasting um, gel I can. Uh, now I'm using a nail cleanser wipe to clean any uh, extra oils off of the nail. So now they are clean, buffed, and set with the repair. Um, I'm almost tempted, maybe I'll try next time, this is all trial and error, is uh, next time I might try two coats of repair. Um, maybe if you have nails, I would say that are obviously about to tear, I would do two or three coats on a nail that's like in, you know, in need of that Band-Aid. Um, okay, so I'm going to start my nail polish. And for those of you who haven't watched me do a demo before, uh, usually what I do is start in the center or in the top of the nail, and then I move the polish towards the cuticle and then back. Um, the reason why I do this is because sometimes when your hands are really shaky and you're trying to start at the cuticle, you're more likely to make a mistake and touch your skin. And with gel polish, you do not want the gel to come in contact with your skin and then cure it because what happens is it's self-leveling. So you're going to create flooding in that area between your skin and your nail. And if the, if the gel polish floods the area between your skin and your nail, it's gonna have a place where the gel can lift. So you can see this is an appropriate application. So you have a gap all the way around the nail on all sides, left, right, and the top, and then the, the cuticle. And then the back is um, capped. I did it really quick, so I, I think I capped it. I'm, <laughs> I'll make sure to show you guys capping on this finger. Okay, so again, you know, you're going to start somewhere in the center-ish and then go towards the cuticle. Uh, let me see if I can zoom this in. Ooh, I can. Just a little bit for you guys. Um, okay, so, and you're going to want to work in really thin coats. And the gel polish is buildable, so if you want a really... Um, potent color or you want an extra thickness to the gel. Um, maybe you're used to having acrylic or dip nails where you like having a really thick um, nail. You can add as many coats as you want. You just need to make sure that they are thin. Each coat is thin and um, yeah, you could do like, shoot, you could do five, six coats if you want um, to get a really thick nail. Um, okay, so I'm capping the end edge by like tapping it along. I hope you saw that. Um, and I'll point it out again. One thing that um, I recommend having nearby is a uh, brush so you can clean your skin um, when the nail polish gets on your skin. So this is gonna be your best technique um, for cleaning your edges versus using your fingernail as a tool. I am guilty of that, but got my 
correct tools here, so I'm gonna do it the right way. Okay, so same thing. Nice thin coat. And the um, nice thing about gel polish, if you are not used to painting your nails with gel, is you can go back over the polish as much as you want before you cure. So the nail polish will not cure until it gets in that LED lamp. Um, but the polish is UV sensitive. So if you um, were to try to paint your nails outside, um, it would not only dry prematurely from the sun, the UV rays, but you also would end up damaging your open bottle of nail polish and brush because it's being exposed to, um, to the UV light. So uh, very UV sensitive. Your bottle being outside or in an open window is fine, um, but once it's opened, you don't want an opened bottle of nail polish outside or in uh, direct sunlight. Okay, so tapping to cap my nail um, around the tips. The most important things you can do to have a long lasting gel manicure is to cap your tips and to embrace the gap around your cuticle to make sure that the um, polish is not touching the skin. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my, my lamp around and get my nails in there. That is going to take 45 seconds to cure. And while that is curing, I am going to come over to my thumb here on the side. Do a quick jog over here. Tap the end. Okay, perfect timing. Okay, and clean up. If there's any polish on your skin, you have to remove it before you cure. If you don't, for one thing, it's gonna be pretty stuck. Okay, all right, so this finger is ready to be cured. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, so those of you who are new to the product, so you can see it's fully dry and it's ready for a second coat. Um, what I did was <laughs> I um, flipped my lamp over uh, so that I could do this a little bit faster for you guys. Um, I do find that the second coat is easier and quicker than the first because you kind of have, um, you have a pattern to follow, right? It's easier not to hit your skin because you're just going to the line you created already. Okay, and my lamp just turned off. So I'm gonna flip it back over, do another zoom here for ya. A little bit too much. Okay, so what do you guys think of this color? This is Raspberry XOXO. This is our $20 color of the month. Every month we have a different um, promotion color for $20. And Bobby just painted her nails with Raspberry XO, I think yesterday or the day before. Perfect timing. So I don't know if any of you have Fairy Tale Twist. That one is a neon purple, uh, came out in the summer. I feel like this is like the winter version of Fairy Tale Twist. Um, it's like the same kind of purple, but this one's deeper. Oh, 
feels so good to get this done. I've been procrastinating on painting my nails. I don't know why. I think just because I couldn't decide what color. I felt like there wasn't a... I just, just it was not carving out the time to do it. Okay. All right, so these are wet, so I'm gonna put them in the lamp. Oh, let's pull back. And yay, now I can see you guys. Or you can see me. Um, okay, so now they're in here. Drying. Um, and that was pretty fast, right? It was like uh, not too bad for a manicure. And I do want to try the stamping. Um, so I can see about doing like a, a cool little Valentine thingy. Um, yes, the color is really fun. I, th I think that it's, it's dark enough that it looks good for winter time too. Um, for cold weather, I don't think it's too, uh, bright. Okay. So I'm doing my thumb. You can see the raspberry XOXO is the name of this one. Um, and then once my nails are done coming out of the lamp, I'm going to do a second coating of the cuticle serum um, to finish off hydrating my nails. Um, and we've got new products coming today. So uh, Repair is releasing today. Um, two new colors. Um, I forgot what the names are. Frozen Margarita is a bright pink color. And then there was another one that was like a taupe color. So I'll have to look and see what it was called. Um, but two brand new colors, a uh, repair product, two brushes for our hair spa, spa products. Okay, so these are now completely dry. Pretty, right? Um, I am going to now use my, not that, um, cuticle serum. So the green tea zen is specifically for, it says it will provide essential minerals and vitamins as its base. This oil is known to prevent bacteria or fungus accumulating on the nail. It can also tighten the cuticles around the nail. Finally, it has anti-inflammatory properties, keeping your nails healthy and strong. So um, I liked that the um, bacteria and the anti-inflammatory, I just, it sounded, sounded good to me. So that's what we're, we're you're using today. Okay, so the way I'm doing it is going around the front of the cuticle and then behind the nail, okay? Um, because all of the skin, including the back of the nail, um, needs, uh, those vitamins and hydration. So, cause you don't back here can also get dry. Um, so you want to pay attention to the entire nail, um, around, uh, the entire skin around the nails. Um, actually, I think I did a pretty good job shaping them. I don't know if I got exactly the look I was was trying to get, um, but I do think they look nice. It looks looks um, like a salon manicure, which is why I love this product so much. It looks, you know, it has that um, really smooth finish, and it's fast, so it's completely dry now. Um, I've got my cuticle oil, so I'm going to go ahead and rub that in and then just let it sit and absorb on my nails and I'm ready for my day. I can go do the dishes, I can take a shower um, and my nails are completely dry. They won't get any like creases or um, chips or anything like that. They are good to go. Yay. All right guys, uh, let me know if you want me to shop for anything for you today. I'm definitely going to be putting an order in for repair and some of the $20 sale of the Raspberry XOXO. Um, and uh, we're also expecting a lot of colors to restock. And I don't know if they're going to restock today, 
Um, but I'll keep you guys uh, heads up because I know several of you have been waiting for the navy blue, um, that's the midnight walk, and then also black, which is Raven's Kiss. Um, so talk to you guys soon. Bye!